Hello and welcome. This is Kushbu Bhatta and today we will learn how you can automatically send Discord messages from Google Sheets with custom custom data. Now let's say you run a business and you have all the information customer information maintained in a Google Sheet. Now you want to send your customer a message from this Google Sheets but you want only selective information that is just custom data. So how will you do it? First you can go to Google Sheets and manually pick the information that that you want. come to discord compose a message and send it to every single user however this can be a lengthy and an arduous job so how about you try our pavli smart way here we will integrate google sheets with discord all using pavli connect in such a way that only custom data would be picked and don't you worry this entire automation process is so simple that it can even be done by a person of non technical knowledge come to my screen to see how we do it To send Discord channel messages from Google Sheets with custom data, we will first go to Pavli's website. On the top right, you can see two options: sign up free and sign in. Since we already have an account, we will just sign in. All right. Now go to Pavli Connect. On the top right, you will see a create workflow button. it will ask you to name we will simply write google sheets to discord create now it will show you two windows trigger and action trigger is basically when this happens action says do this so for the trigger application we will select google sheets for the trigger event new or updated spreadsheet row why because we want every time a row is updated or added in google sheets message should be sent a discord message should be sent to the user okay you can see a url is being generated here so what is a webhook url it is basically a link that connects to applications let us copy this and follow these instructions to make the further integration for this let us go to Google Sheets. Okay, so this was the Google Sheet that I had prepared, a dummy sheet. On the top, you will see extensions, Pavli Connect webhooks, initial setup. It will ask you the URL. Just paste the one that we copied for the trigger column. All okay. So we must know that the trigger column is always, always the last column of your spreadsheet since. in our case the last column is f we, we have no details after this column so we will write f as the trigger column now let us just submit all right now i just want to use these four columns only this data because i feel these are little confidential so i don't want to give access to this i just want to use this data from column a to column d so for that let us again go to extensions Pavli Connect webhooks. Scroll down, you will come to send custom data. That means it's going to send only the data that we will ask it to send. Okay. So here, it you will it will ask you for the range. So we want from A to why? Because yes, we want name. We want name. So this is A to you can see. Now we also want the contact number, email ID, and message. So. A two would be the starting range since we want the data from here, and since we want the data till here, this would be our end range. That would be D two. So what will happen is now it will capture only data from A two to D two. These details will not be reflected in Pavli. Let's see how. Now after filling these ranges, start range and end range, let us click submit. Okay, you can see it's highlighted here. Now go to Pavli and see if it has received our response. Yes, it has received. And when you will check the response, you will see it has received only the data that we wanted. That is the full name, the contact number, email address, and the message. There are no payment details or date of birth. Okay, so this is successfully integrated. That means Google Sheet and Pavli successfully connected. now on to the next step click on actions and select discord 
Here we will select send channel message markdown. Let us connect the two. And it will ask you for a webhook URL. So for the webhook URL, you can click here. There will be a guide and you can follow the guide to reach the webhook URL. Now let us go to Discord's page. Here you can see this. I will click here on the drop down and you can see server settings. Okay. Now on the left hand side, you will see integrations. Click there. It will show you webhooks, view webhooks. We will select new webhook and you can see here at the bottom copy webhook URL. Just copy it, this captain hook. We have copied this. Now come back to Pavli's page and just paste the URL. Now it will ask you for the message that you have to send. So we will map it from Google Sheets and here is our message. Hi, we have received your response. Okay, rest will remain the same. Now let us just save and send test request to see. Okay, here it will show you the status code. Now let us go to Discord and see if we have if the user has received this message. Hi, we have received your response. Here it is. You can see in the chat the message is here. Hi, we have received your response. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope this video was helpful for you. For more such videos, you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube. For further queries, you can visit forum.pabli.com and you can also check our pricing details at www.pabli.com.